Hi, my name is Rainey. I'm from RJF Marketing. I'm a distributor out of Rochester, New York. And I'm here at Wowline talking with John Short. Good morning, everyone. My name is John Short. I'm the national sales manager for Wowline. We are based in Syosset, New York, which is on Long Island, and we ship out of Albany, New York. Most everyone knows us for the toys, the games, the puzzles, and the novelties, but there's a lot of other great items that we offer, and I look forward to showing you some items here shortly. So, John, we're going into year three of the global challenge presented by COVID. How is Wowline poised to start off 2022? When year one came in, and things kind of went, we'll call it south, we pivoted uh, pretty much in the PPE. So we started selling masks, sanitizer, gloves, that sort of thing, because we saw that there was a need for distributors in the industry to be able to have great sources for that product. Towards the end of 2020, we started seeing um, a kind of a change and a resurgence going from PPE more into our normal everyday trend, normal everyday products, sunglasses, crayons, piggy banks, that sort of thing. 2021, there was a lot of changes as far as container prices, raw good material prices, that sort of thing. Our inventory is actually really strong. And I just found out yesterday, we've been able to get a number of more containers out the door before Chinese New Year here, which is in about two weeks. And our inventory will still continue to be strong. Great. So what have you learned along the way and how is that informing your decisions going forward? I think what we've really learned along the way is get back with distributors quickly with answers, you know, and be kind of more transparent and upfront and honest. There's been a lot of changes as far as like lead times, production times, inventory changes. And I think it's one of those where we need to be more transparent, you know, and that's where when I have distributors call me, you know, it's like, here, this is what I have in inventory right now. Here's what I've got coming in shortly. You tell me what you're looking for. I can always find something else maybe that can fit the bill if it's in a particular price point. Our sweet spot is really in that dollar to four dollar range. And so if I don't have something in particular that might fit the bill, you know, I can always find you something else. We can zig and zag. And I think that's what a lot of distributors are looking for. They're looking for that supplier partner who's willing to work with them, you know, and be able to at least help them in the system more than anything else and trying to get information and product to their customers more than anything else. Helping the distributor is really important. Exactly, and I'm kind of old school. I think it's very important that when somebody reaches out to me, I try to get back to them as quickly as possible. But I re I've been reading these horror stories lately where like suppliers aren't responding back to distributors via like an email or not picking up the phone or not calling. And I just don't, Feel that that's the right way to do business. I think it's important where if you're coming to me, you're coming to me for a reason. And that reason is you're interested in my products. And that's an opportunity for me to help educate you because you, the distributors, are my sales force. And if you aren't educated, then I, maybe I haven't done my job right, or I, maybe I don't have the right type of product. But I want to make sure that when you go into that end user customer, you are armed with everything you need. And so there's literature that can be brought in and handed to it or dropped off with like some samples and things of that nature. Our self promo offers EQP less 20% plus a free setup charge. You know, like for instance, we've got a garden hose nozzle and I can show you to that. Put a little slogan on there that says, don't get hosed by the competition or something like that. <laughs> There's always that phrase that talks about be funny, make money. You've got to figure out what's going to set you apart from everybody else. Just like I've, what I've got to do as a supplier to figure out how I can set myself apart from the other suppliers. Basically, it goes down to selection, it goes down to service, and it goes down to price. I'm not afraid where if I've got a distributor who comes to me and says, John, I need some extra help on pricing. I'm trying to be a little bit more competitive. You know what? I'm here to help. What can I do to help make your job easier? What can I do to help you get that order and get that business? When distributors are looking for supplier partners to work with on a regular basis, that's what I'm here for. Let me know what you need. Let me help. As a distributor, thank you. You're welcome. So, <laughs> my pleasure, Remy. Do you feel Wildline was better or worse situated to handle the challenges compared to other suppliers in the industry? And if so, or not? When we pivoted to PPE, I think we were better and prepared to handle a lot of things. We were able to get masks in pretty quickly and we had sanitizer in stock. And then we also uh, kind of branched out into a few other things like gloves and face shields and things of that nature. For instance, I would have distributors who came to me like in 2020 saying, hey, are you guys carrying gloves? Yes, I'll have some in a couple days. As soon as I got the gloves in, I would email those distributor customers and say, hey, I got my gloves in. And all of a sudden I'd start seeing orders roll in and the gloves get wiped out. So it's that power of following up and remembering, hey, you know, I've 
I remember that conversation in that email you sent me. Earlier in 2021, I had a distributor who was asking me about like polarized sunglasses. And I said, you know what? I'm not gonna probably have those until closer to the end of 2021. I emailed him to say, yes, they are coming in and I've got samples up here on display. And I said, I've got three different styles. So he's already looking forward to start showing them to his customers and everything else like that. So it's one of those things where I do my best to try to, you know, remember those conversations so that you can then go out to your distributor customer and say, hey, look what I've got, look what's going on, let me help you and let me do. We're all here at, at PPA Expo, the first in-person event in two years. Are you excited to be back in person? Do you feel these types of events are gonna hold value for the industry or do you see them being replaced by hybrid or purely virtual models of selling? During the pandemic in 2020, I actually did a couple parking lot shows. I actually went to see a couple distributor customers. And in 2021, in March, I started traveling again every week. I was doing indoor shows. I did um, a number of regional association shows, a number of traveling shows. I did sales calls. I was booked basically from beginning of March to the beginning of November last year. And there were some who were like, no, we're still doing Zoom. But the problem I had was I was booked every week and it's like, okay, I can do your Zoom meeting, but it's gonna take me probably about two or three weeks before I can get to you because I've got so much going on. Because everybody at that point was coming out of the woodwork saying, hey, will you come do my show? Will you come see me? We wanna see you, we wanna do. So for something like PPAI being kind of back here in two years, that's great. But there was a lot of stuff that went on last year, including uh, like ASI and stuff like that. You know, when we went out and we started doing those regional shows and everything, there was a huge pinup demand for literature, samples, product, everything like that. And that's what kind of drove us to, okay, you know, we want to print that 2022 catalog. I had distributors asking me, are you going to have a printed 2022 catalog? Yes, we are. And there was a lot of excitement for that. I'm thrilled to be back here in Vegas to do this. The last two days here, very steady traffic, lots of great conversations. Not a lot of people coming in saying, scan me and run. They wanted to talk about product. They had projects and programs that they were working on that they needed to fill stuff for. So I'm thrilled to have those conversations. And in my opinion, this PPI Vegas has been a lot different than two years ago, where it's, it's one of those where there was time to be able to have those longer, like five minute, seven minute, eight minute, 10 minute conversations rather than someone just, you know, basically scan me and go. And that's what I think when you can take, you as a distributor can take that extra time to come in and find a supplier like me who I term as a diamond in the rough, this is a great opportunity for you to do that. I would have to agree. It was a, it's great show to be able to have conversations with people. Mm -hmm. So is the large expense of a trade show something which is forcing you to take a look at assumed costs of business that we take for granted in the industry, such as rebate programs and other associated costs? It's a cost of doing business. I want to be able to see people up close and personal, and I've had a number of great conversations with folks here. So to me, it's well worth what we have put into it financially. The owner of my company was here the last two days, and he was ecstatic about the traffic and the conversations. Just to have those great quality conversations, that is huge. And that's gonna lead to more opportunities for us to be able to have those, we'll call it, like I said earlier, longer conversations to where you can see certain product. I think in the long run, it will pay off. Maybe when we get closer to the beginning of third quarter, we are back to a point where we were like at that same time last year. I think it's huge to be able to be in front of people and talk and have those conversations. I think it's great to be able to touch and feel and actually hold a conversation as opposed to one right. And to be honest with you, I think the Zoom meetings have their place. There are people who are still not maybe comfortable in coming out. I get that. Somebody says, John, we do a Zoom meeting. Sure. And when I do Zoom meetings, I don't share my screen. I show product. So I'm holding product to the camera, like the rain gauges and things like that, and talking about them in length. Rather than trying to share a screen, you're sitting there looking at an image and you're trying to figure out how it is. The hybrid stuff of you know both virtual and in-person, it'll still kind of exist to an extent. But from what I saw last year, there was a pinup demand to be in person. And I really think that if things die down in 2022, 
I think PP, something like PPAI 2023 will spring back to where it was like in 2020. 2023 comes, I think you may see a larger pre-pandemic attendance level here at PPAI. Well, line has been around for about over 50 years. Do yes. you feel the industry has gotten stronger over the years? What's Wildline done to make that time to earn the trust of distributors and buyers? Well, for most people, they may remember when we were called Many, Many Toys. I remember that. Before we were at Wildline. The name was changed probably about, I think, maybe 10 years ago, 12 years ago, something like that. You know, we've been that constant source for the toys, the games, the puzzles, and the novelties. For us, what we've done is, if you take a look at our, I'll call it our product selection, it has branched out in the last few years. So now we have like health and wellness items, we have kitchen items, we have pet items, I've got die cast, I've got light up, I've got nail polish. You know, the breadth of the line has really grown in the last four or five years. You know, when people say, wow, you've got a number of different things. My response is, yes, I have a little of this and a little of that. You tell me what you're looking for for your customer. What does your customer do? What industry are they in? How much are they looking to spend? Let's kind of narrow it down, give you three top items that you can take and walk into that end user customer and show them immediately to where you can probably walk out with an order. Because when I have somebody like yourself who reaches out to me for that, I also tell you what the price is. I also tell you what the inventory level is. Now you can do a real-time inventory check on our website, but as I tell distributors, if it, for some reason if it says call for availability, then what you want to do is reach out to either me or do like a live web chat just to confirm, is this item in stock or when is more coming in? Because I think some distributors see call for availability and like, oh, it's out of stock and they move on. No, 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 no. That would reach, be me. <laughs> re reach out to me and let's double check because every once in a while, there might be like a little glitch in the system and I've got inventory. I would rather at least go the extra mile, double check to make sure, do I, do I have inventory? If I do, great, here's what I have. But if I don't, here's when I've got more coming in. I would rather exhaust all possibilities to be able to help you get what you need for your customer. There you go. What's Wildline doing to help distributors as a partner with a shared goal of taking care of the buyer, being a frontline marketing industry and not sliding back into the old habits of doing things? We actually have a compliance manager on staff. If you come to me and you say, John, I need some testing paperwork for one of your piggy banks or this or that or the other, I can put you in touch with our compliance manager who then can get you the paperwork. We're a big believer in making sure that we've got the proper documentation, the proper testing, because when you're going out and sell something, it's not just my reputation, it's your reputation as well too. Right. And so the best thing that we've got to do in that partnership is to make sure that you're armed with all the necessary information that you need with it. When you walk into that end user customer, you can make them feel as comfortable as possible that you know what you're doing, you know, you've got the back information, you've got everything. They don't have to worry about something going nuts. But it's one of those where something happens, yeah, we're gonna stand behind it. We're gonna make sure that we get whatever resolved and taken care of so that your customer's happy and continues to purchase from you. So you'd say that you've got the distributors back. Exactly. It's one of those where, once again, with the product testing, the inventory's right, that if you come to us, we got your back. Give me a little bit of direction what we're doing, what we're looking for, what we got to do. We'll get her done. That's <laughs> kind of the way I look at it. We'll get her done. There you go. So what do you see as going forward for 22 and beyond? I think, I think the big thing in 2022 is going to be getting back to business even more. 2019 was just a lights out year and we all, we're all seeing early 2020 lights out as well. I think we all want to get back to a more normal, more normality. And that includes being able to go out, not necessarily having to wear a mask, you know, getting in front of the customer more, being able to, you know, have that personal touch, that personal relationship more than anything else. Because to me, that face-to-face, -face, that is huge. To be able to sit across from the desk or to, you know, show product to somebody like yourself, Remy, to me, that's that winner, winner chicken dinner right there. <laughs> Well, thank you for your time. Thanks for answering all the questions. And let's look forward to a good 2022. Sounds great. Cool. This is all of our brand new products for 2022, all new items. Fidget Popper games, hopscotch game that's got a couple pieces of chalk in it to and instructions on the side, Biograph, Retro game, Connect Four, Jenga, Barrel of Monkeys, The Water Game, Dominoes, Pickup Sticks, the new 20 piece jumbo chalk, the new pixel pick bag. But we've added a number of items like lawn and garden, gardening shears, uh, neal pad, gardening gloves, grain gauges, two new colors for this year in red and black, bird feeder for premium mold 
garden, uh, garden tools, shovel and rake, luggage tags, keychains, the new wheat piggy bank, 50% wheat fiber, 50% plastic, eco-driven and eco-friendly items, wheat utensil sets, new stainless steel straws, bamboo related items, food scale, bamboo cutting board, bamboo toothbrushes, new nail polish, antimicrobial plant-based formula. I've got 22 other colors of nail polish that are best sellers, sunglasses that are polarized as well too, socks, bags, the list kind of goes on. What is your end user customer looking for more than anything else and what price? I'm sure that I can always find something for you that will fit the bill. This is just some of our best sellers more than anything. We offer light up, 22 stock colors and nail polish that we offer. And I can also do a custom PMS match as well. We can do that. Minimum stock minimum is 200 bottles. Custom PMS match minimum is 1,000 bottles. Sunglasses. Novelty construction hats. We're getting into that time of the year for St. Patrick's Day. Back scratchers, baubles, chalk, crayons, toys and games, pot holder and the oven mitt, bamboo cutting board, fly swat, hand warmers, pet item. This is my three in one avocado slicer. You're going to cut the avocado, take the core out, and then cut it into slices. We talked about my hose nozzle. Put it on there, don't get hosed. If you're looking for stuff like that for lawn and garden companies, nurseries, agriculture companies, those are great little handouts maybe for a booth for somebody. What are you looking for? What do you need? We are here to help. Let us know how we can be of assistance. For those of you who don't know us, we are the promotional products industry leader when it comes to toys, games, puzzles, and novelties. We have branched out in the last few years to add health and wellness items, kitchen items, pet items, and much more. You can see everything that we have to offer at www.wowline.com. We have a number of great specials going on right now, and we are here to help you get back to business. So please let us know if you have any questions. Thanks so much, and let's make it a great day.